Hey everybody, Mr. Regan here. And up to this point, you have made a prediction about a population of ostrilopes that we're gonna be looking at in our simulator to help us determine what decides if a trait becomes common. So we're gonna be breaking down here, number one, how to, under, uh, how to use the uh, mutation and traits mission to help us figure out if our prediction came true, and then how to use our data to analyze mutations within the sim population itself. So as we break this down, come back here, make sure you put your exit in whatever row you feel you are in and reach out if you need any extra help. So the simulator starts by us clicking on the amplify link and going to the mutation and trait mode. And we're going to be going through kind of what we did in the previous sim, turning the temperature down to one, turning mutations on, but we're going to be running the simulator for 70 generations and uh, turning um, to the analyze page for our data. So when you click on the menu button, you'll find the mutation and traits. Make sure we load up the mutation and traits mode first and foremost. We're going to turn the temperature to one. We're going to find the ostrilopes here. We're going to turn mutations on and we're going to hit run. As this is running, obviously we're going to speed this up to four and we're going to get it all the way to generation 50. Now, once we hit the analyze button, okay, we're going to be screenshotting this page here for our task number five. From there, we're gonna revisit not only our prediction, but our data in task five to decide what happened, what determines if a new trait becomes common or not. So we're gonna be using that data to answer these four questions. Each one we answer needs to have some sort of data, whether it's data from our prediction or whether it's data from our analyze page. We need to be using data to support our conclusions. So as we answer these, make sure you're identifying in the histogram, this is what we're seeing in the histogram, this is what the data shows. So do we understand how to set up the mutation and trait mission and how to use our data to analyze mutation in the simulation population? Mark yourself in whatever row you feel you fit in the survey, reach out if you need help and good luck.